Hi guys, Prashant here and uh, in this lesson we are going to learn about uh, intent based marketing and identity based marketing. So even before you start advertising your website on the internet, remember there are two ways in which you can promote your business. First is intent based marketing. Second one is the identity based marketing, like looking at your behavior and your attributes and all those things, right? So essentially, so when you have a website and you want to reach your prospects so that you can turn them into your customers, remember the two things, intent, identity. Intent is reaching those people who are already looking for us reaching those people who are already looking for us already searching for us already interested in our products and service that is one one point second part is where you go and find your customers right so i will shed more light on that in next five seven minutes so you'll understand as to how to start this particular uh, advertising on the internet right so first thing intent based marketing is generally a place where people come and search and that will generally happen when you go to google.com see so when you go to google.com for example if i come to google.com and type in something here right this is intent a user when he goes to google.com he types in something called search term we call it search term and a search term represents the intent of the user because he searches that only when he's interested if your intent is digital marketing training you will never type in java training or if your intent is plumbers in Hyderabad, you will never type in carpenters. So when a person who has an intent of finding washing machine repair in Hyderabad, they go to google.com and they don't type in plumber, they type in washing machine repair in Hyderabad. So, right? So and whatever he types on google.com, this is what we called as a search term, call as a search term. And this search term tells you the intent of the user. This search term tells you the intent of the user. That means, that means, that means this is what he's looking for on google.com. So it's easy to advertise to these people because I know they're already looking for me. All I have to do is just appear on google.com because they're already looking for me. So if I have one website which deals with washing machine repair services, I want to show my ad to these people because they're already looking for me, which is intent. So I'm reaching people based on their intent. And how do I know their intent based on the search term? Search term. So whenever a user goes to google.com and whatever he types, we call it search term. And search term clearly tells you the intent of the user. And when his intent is looking for me or when his intent is something to do with my business I want to show it right this is intent based marketing and intent based marketing happens on google.com why because google.com is a search engine it will give you result only when you search see if I go to google.com and type in google.com right I don't type anything Google will not give me any result it will give me result only when I search something and what do I search if I search for carpenter Why am I typing carpenters in Hyderabad? Because I'm interested in carpenters. I'm not interested in plumbers. So this is my intent. So my intent is carpenters in Hyderabad. I want carpenters. So I type on google.com, which is my search term. So carpenters in Hyderabad here is a search term. So when I enter the search term, Google gives me those results. And that is why Google is called as a search engine. It gives result when you enter a search term, right? And, and this is one way to get connected to people who are already looking for you. So if you are a digital marketing trainer, you have to show your ads to people who are already looking for digital marketing training. If you are a washing machine repair guy, you have to show your ads on Google to people who are looking for washing machine repair because they are interested in you. You are not looking for them, they are looking for you, which is intent based. right? Second one, we call it as identity based. Identity based marketing is something like they are not looking for us, but I am looking for them. Example, for example, if I go to one website, let's take an example. If I go to one website called uh, uh, The Hindu, Okay, imagine I'm going to a website called Hindu, right? When I go to this website called Hindu, on that particular website Hindu, I find a lot of ads. I never asked for those ads. Those ads automatically appear to me. Why? The advertiser whose ads are served to me, he is chasing me rather than me looking for him. On google.com, they look for me, I just have to show up. But on other websites, they're not looking for me. We are looking for them. Are you getting me? So I just show you if I if I come to this website. Now this is an ad. This is an ad. I never asked for ads. I never asked for home lane. Homeland is trying to chase me. On google.com, I go and search, but on other websites, they come looking for me. 
So when I don't look for them and then still show me ads, we call it identity based marketing. So identity based marketing is where advertisers try and find their customers. Intent based marketing is where customers look for us. Which one is important? I say both of them are important. Intent will complement your identity. Identity will complement your intent. So when you plan a strategy, remember you have to have both these mindsets. One is intent based where you reach people who are already looking for you. Second one is identity based where you go and find your customers, right? And Google loves you or Google AdWords or Google Ads, we call it Google Ads now, it was earlier Google AdWords. Google Ads helps you to do both intent based marketing, it will also help you do identity based marketing. And to do identity based marketing, what Google have done is Google partnered with various websites. There are more than 3 million websites which are part of those network and in all those websites Google can serve ads. So if you want to reach people based on their behavior, based on what they do, what they like, what they read, what their interests are, you can do identity based marketing on Google through Google Ads and we call it Google Display Network. But if you want to reach those people who are already looking for your service, then you have to advertise on Google search and we call them as Google Search Network, right? So remember Google.com which is search engine primarily focused on intent based marketing, but any other forms of advertising like you know you show ads on YouTube, you don't you don't ask for ads, ads automatically come get served to you. That's called identity based marketing. You go to Facebook, you don't go to Facebook and search for plumbers, but you find a plumber ad. Why they are looking for you? You go to you go to Facebook, you might find an ad for Make My Trip. You don't go to Facebook to find Make My Trip, but Make My Trip served their ad to you. Why? They are doing identity based marketing. You are not looking for them; they are looking for you. So remember, identity based marketing is where people are looking, where where people show ads to me, even though I'm not looking for them. Intent based marketing is where I look for them and they show ads. Remember, these are the two methods that you have the entire internet categorized into. So you can do anything, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, app, mobile, uh, SEO, SEM, whatever. At the end of it, they are categorized into two different verticals, intent based, identity based. Once you establish this particular fact, then you can learn on or move on to learn other concepts in Google Ads and then slowly you become an expert as you watch these videos. Okay? get connected to this uh, channel subscribe to this channel i'm teaching you all these things for free on youtube so that you can join an institute or a boot camp to learn these skills in real time generally what happens is in an institute people de teach these stuff you don't join an institute to learn these stuff you go to an institute to learn something beyond remember if you want to learn them in real time get connected to me and uh, i have my website uh, prashanthrenigunthala.com you can go leave an inquiry and you'll have all these details right thank you so much and just stay connected and watch all the other videos as well until you become an expert and use adwords like a professional thank you so much i'll get connected to you in other videos soon thank you